Okay, to add and subtract decimals, here are your steps. Ready, mirrors on. Step one, line up the decimals. Step two, fill in the zeros. Step three, solve the problem. And step four, bring down the zero. So again, step one, line up the decimals. Step two, fill in the zeros. Step three, solve the problem. And step four, bring down the decimal. Step one, line up decimals. Step two, fill in the zeros. Step three, solve the problem. Step four, bring down the decimal. One, line them up. Two, fill in the zeros. Three, solve the problem. Four, bring down the decimal. All right, so we're solving 12 and 8 tenths plus 6 and 43 hundredths. Step one is to line up the decimals. So what I'm going to do is I will write 12 and 8 tenths. Then I line up the decimal right here. So I put 43 hundredths on this side of the decimal and 6 on this side. All right, step two is to fill in the zeros. So we have a blank hundredth spot here, so I'm going to put a zero right there. Step three is to solve the problem. So I'm going to add. 0 plus 3 is 3. 8 plus 4 is 12. Carry my 1. 6 plus 2 is 8. Plus 1 is 9. 1 plus nothing is 1. Okay, step 4 is to bring down the decimal. Bring down the decimal. So my answer is 19 and 23. Alright, we... Oh. All right, we have 9 and 56 hundredths. Take away 7 and 2 tenths. So my first step is to line up the decimal. So I will write 9 and 56 hundredths. Then I will put my decimal down. Put my 7 to the left, my 2 to the right. Now I will fill in the zeros. Now I can solve the problem. 6 minus 0 is 6. 5 minus 2 is 3. Seven or 9 minus 7 is 2. Step four is to bring down the decimal. So my answer is two and 36 hundredths. All right, my first step is to line up the decimal. Well, right here, there is no decimal point, so I have to put one at the end of the whole number. So it's 14 decimal point, right? Decimal points for whole numbers are always to the left of the decimal. So now I can line them up. 14 to the left of the decimal and then a decimal point. And then I line up my decimal, and I fill in the second number, 8 and 6 tenths. Now I fill in my 0, and I can solve the problem. I can't do 0, take away 6, so I will borrow, make this 4 into a 3, and then have 10 tenths. So 10 take away 6 is 4. Again, can't do that, so 13 take away 8 is 5. And my final step is to bring down the decimal. So my answer is 5 and 4 tenths. All right, I have 19 and 46 hundredths plus 8. My first step is to line up the decimal. Well, there's no decimal here, so I have to put one at the end of my whole number. Now I can line them up. 19 and 46 hundredths plus... Line up that decimal, put my right here, my decimal point right there, put my 8 to the left of the decimal. Now I can fill in the zeros. And now I can solve the problem. 9 plus 8 is 17, carry my 27. My final step is to bring down the decimal. So my answer is 27 and 46 hundredths.